So we will move on into the top eight loser side, eliminating Exax with the combination of the Joker and Lucario. Yep. All righty. So, so I believe this is our last match on the stream okay. here. So it's going to be Larry. Ver oh, we're actually making great time, actually, in, in, wow. in loser side. We're going to start top eight pretty much on time, yeah. it looks like. <laughs> only, uh, depending on how this set goes, uh, yeah, yeah. only probably start top eight like five minutes behind the scheduled time. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, before I've seen like 30 minutes or even more, depending on how many game fives there are. Right. But not quite that much today. So actually, Sweet Tea did beat uh, Leaf to get here. Okay. But that actually makes me wonder how, who Leaf beat. It looks like he beat Caraflex, actually. It looks like that was the main win that he got. And then he lost to some, uh, he lost to Charlie in winners, yeah. So he beat uh, Caraflex, and then Sweet Tea beat Lumbre, who actually consider, who actually beat uh, Zan. Looks like wow. Well, Lumber is a really underrated player from mm -hmm. the Inland Empire. Really strong nest, but this is the top eight qualifier. We have Sweet Tea Pokemon Trainer versus Wolf Larry's yep. Wolf. Winner for winner of this will move on in the top eight. Yeah, this is a pretty big for Sweet Tea. Yeah, the names and the score. <laughs> this will be really good for Sweet Tea if he's able to get top eight uh, at a tournament like this. Would be probably his best placement in Ultimate so far, but mm -hmm. he has to go through. Number three on the SoCal PR, Larry Lur. Yep. Veteran player. One of the most experienced players in Ultimate we have here. Or in uh, Smash in general that we have here. All right, there we go. The back air comes out. Ooh, oh, wow. My okay. goodness, Hydro Pump immediately catching that <laughs> early Wolf Flash attempt from Larry. Yeah. He definitely stole that stock. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, Sweetie will take that all the way to the bank. Yep. Let's see how wow. far he can uh, steer the momentum, though. Wolf's the type of character that can just uh, quickly take it out. Yeah, Larry doesn't seem like too worried that he dropped that stock that early because he knows he has a character that can kill really fast. There it is, that unsafe background shield. The up smash from Wolf covering so much area. One of the best anti-air moves you have in the game. Mm -hmm. So, basically evened it up. Larry looking for these low percent strings, but you also got to worry about Squirrel's low percent combo game as well. All right, let's see. There it is. Just gets a little bit of damage with the laser. Having a hard time really starting something here. I think Squirtle is so small and mobile that it makes it kind of difficult to really get anything going. But to finally get something with yeah. those fares into the dash attack. Yeah, Larry uh, is still finding a way to get these damage in, even though Squirtle is pretty small to hit. I'm actually surprised that Sweet Tea is staying in Squirtle for so long in the first place. Yeah. Like maybe he wants to use like that small hurt box to his advantage. But there's the Ivysaur switch. Nice pivot grab. He has him off stage. Do you want to go for the down air? No, the snipe with the... That's neutral air, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually very smart from Larry, recognizing that he still had the opportunity to make it back. I feel like a lot of people would have just given up when they saw they got clipped by the neutral air, you know? Oh, start up above smash trades, but there's a wolf flash hitting him all the way to the other side of the stage. How's he going to get past wolf here? No invincibility on the ledge, but there's the vine whip pressure from the ledge. <laughs> it's actually pretty hard to punish that. Yeah, Larry was like two inches off. Like He, he almost had it. Yeah. Down throw, put him off stage, reset the situation probably. Oh, nice landing mix up here coming up from Sweet Tea, making it really difficult for Larry to sneak in these hits. But there's the forward air, send him deep off stage. I watch the Vine Whip. No rolls this time. Larry not ready to punch it. Oh man, the Charizard switch right in his face. Back throw's not enough. Charizard, big heavy guy. Yeah, but still, okay. almost close nice. to taking out this next stock. I think he just needs like one strong nair or anything. He just needs to sneeze on Charizard, even as heavy as he is. Nice jab though. Send him to the other side. Oh, dash attack is the weak hit, so he's not going to be in danger of dying. Very close position here, but he's going to go for the back throw on the other side of the stage. Not enough. Yeah, very so nice. 30 percent. Very smart. Charizard is very dangerous, but there's a the nair covering the spot dodge. Mm -hmm. There we go. Closes it out. Larry, uh, despite that really early hydro pump kill, still brought this back. Now he's in his favor. Wow, switch immediately to Charizard. Interesting. Yeah, I think he just wants to get this kill off um, with Charizard before you know Larry gets a too big of a percent lead. Seismic to Toss throw. should be able to do that. Not oh, never mind. Hydro Pump. Larry saves his up B this time. Or yeah. his side B. Not going to mm -hmm. get gimped uh, early by that Hydro Pump this time. Okay. Deep off stage. No, uh, yeah, yeah, he can't. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, he went really it. deep off, the, off stage. I don't know why he went that far off, but. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to end the game, I guess. Yeah. So he had a stock lead, so not too bad. And Larry's yeah. been playing really safe regardless. Mm -hmm. Almost killing Super Light Squirrel with that up smash. Yeah, as long as he doesn't pull a K9 and then, like, completely lose momentum and almost yeah. lose the game. <laughs> yeah, I still see Larry applying tons of pressure. It's really, really difficult for Sweet Tea to capitalize. But there's the down throw up there. Nice. Tech chase situation here. Six in the dash attack. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my God. He, 
he had to dodge that vine wood, mm -hmm. but all fell out of the last hit of the nair. Okay, laser snipe here. Vine whip, nice. not quite. Got nice another back throw opportunity. Not enough. Good DI from Sweet Tea, staying alive just barely. Oh, and the nair catches the ledge jump. Really good timing there from Larry. Yeah. Taking the first game with the wolf. Yeah, I mean, ledge trapping is just really good with wolf. Like, it's sometimes if you're just stuck there, and it's like, well, it's not really my fault. It's just, it's just the character is just the good of that. Yeah. It's a. Korean was talking to Larry before he started picking up Wolf. Is like, dude, you should really pick up Wolf because you're so strong at lead trapping, at least in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. And Wolf rewards that very well. You should just play a character like Wolf that can cover ledge options really well with like Nair, down smash, down tilt, F tilt. And yeah. uh, ever since then, Larry just added Wolf to his repertoire of characters and really working out for him. Mm -hmm. Charles being uh, the, the coach that he is. Yeah, coach tip. You yeah. Know. Here we go, moving on to Battlefield. I like that uh, Sweet Tea always, well, at least every time I see him play, he always goes for like the other Battlefield variants because mm -hmm. he, li he likes the different music. Yeah. I mean, some habits are really hard to break, but uh, Jacob was really embracing the, oh, sorry, Sweet Tea. Yeah, Sweet Tea really embracing the the, the different music available. Yeah. I just like think I, we take that for granted. It's like being able to set any stage to Battlefield, we can like listen to any of the amazing songs we have in this game that we want. Yeah. yeah. It's just a cool thing that's only exclusive to Ultimate. Mm -hmm. Except for the 8-bit stages because of, you know, Z-axis Z uh, uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, that... <laughs> you really wanted to go for that. And the tech oh. chase? Got a lot of damage off of that, actually. Off of one mistake there from Sweet Tea. And it's still going, actually. Still has the advantage position. Yeah, right. just really uh, having a hard time Sweet Tea oh my God, that trying shield. to come back. <laughs> Almost shield poked with the Vine Whip at the ledge. But here comes Larry pressing him now. Making it really difficult for him to get to center stage. Again, covers the roll back off stage again. Yeah, what's the option going to be? Nice. Nice. Still keeping him on the left side of the stage. He hasn't gotten to center in at least 20 seconds so far. Oh, my goodness. The fly. The oh, armor of the fly got past the up smash. That was like such a brave play from Sweet Tea. And immediately closed it out with the up smash. Now we're switching to Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. That was a really good turnaround, man. He was stuck on that side of the stage for such a long time. Yeah. I mean, all that damage was solely because he decided to up smash with Squirtle. It didn't quite work out the way he wanted. But at least he's able to bring it back around. But at what cost? So much damage oh already tacked God, on. That and up smash covers behind him so well. Yeah. What a good roll punish for Larry. Still, though, let's see how much Sweet Tea can build on his lead here. Nice down there from the setup. Another one. Oh, oh okay. My goodness. But he still gets a forward smash punish, even though he got hit by the Wolf Flash. Okay, not quite going to be able to get that down air, even though it doesn't sweet spot to the ledge. Yeah, you always have to be careful with that because that down air's hitbox is insanely big. But oh my goodness, falling out of the fly. That would have been such a good out shield punish. Mm -hmm. Man, he needs to maybe buff that hitbox a little bit. It's like the second time I've seen him fall out of fly. Nice. Right, the nair out of shield. Oh, barely gets the down or misses the down smash. Nice, so you get a shield poke, but there's the out of shield up smash again. Not enough to kill Ivysaur a little bit heavier than Squirtle. Oh. Vine Whip. Oh, the mix up. Barely Ooh, catches yeah. the shield drop with mm -hmm. the up air from the ledge. That was actually really smooth. Yeah. And Just now Charizard's here to live a little bit longer. Okay. Oh, <laughs> my. He I just, think he tried to catch a parry window, but yeah. he just dropped it a little bit too late. It's like that slight delay before the hitbox of back air comes out, threw him mm -hmm. off a little bit. Yeah. So we make even game right now. Okay, throw. got an up throw combo. Oh, Not quite. He did, yeah, he wanted to re grab him on the top platform, but it's a little bit too slow. Already? Yeah, really going in there. Looks like Larry Larry's just trying to nice. close out the damage. I'm surprised he's still sticking to the Squirtle. Could potentially, oh, yes, die. Yeah, <laughs> he exploded on that stock. Yeah. Squirtle's just way too light. Larry sees the opening and immediately strikes with the back air. And now he's going up 2 oh, one game away from moving on into the top eight loser's side, joining the other amazing players already qualified in the top eight. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll have to see. Sticking it one more time, gonna switch to... Do we got a character switch here? Or no? Wait, please tell me he doesn't want hand and bow. Oh my gosh, why? This is, like, this is like the worst one you can go to. 
A hand and bow, man. Hand and bow. All the songs you could possibly have. This is the one you want, Jake. Oh, you know, what? all right. You're, you're the one playing for top eight. Where, where yeah, yeah, want, yeah. Man? Maybe he just really likes electroplankton. Or maybe he just wants to tilt Larry really bad with the <laughs> horrible layout of this stage and like blind him from the, the lime green black uh, background. Hey, do we have a chroma key that we can put on the background? Yeah, that's something like, that you can that do with the, streamers. Really yeah. the only reason I would play on this stage <laughs> for like the meme worthy potential. Yeah. <laughs> of All the right. green screen, but. Mm -hmm. Toasty, if you're out there, <laughs> please. Yeah, do something. <laughs> do something, do something, something with this. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, but already it looks like so far uh, these two are actually going back and forth on the stage. I don't know. Maybe Larry's really mad about the the hand and bell pick, so yeah. it powered him up actually. Ooh, almost. But there's the clean back. They're almost killing from center stage. Oh, there Again, it is. Hydro yeah. pump. Not not sweet spot in the ledge. It immediately gets hit off the stage with the hydro pump. That was mm -hmm. nice. Reads the direction on air dodge though. How's he gonna get the stock? Oh, nice Doesn't. grab. No up air though, unfortunate. That was gonna go for down throw up air, get like the crispy percent. Up smash not enough, but there's the up air trade. Yeah, that's Only enough. Only took nine percent. It's really unfortunate for Sweet T. Like he gets like these early like hydro pump kills, but he doesn't get an opportunity to really build on his advantage. Mm -hmm. All right, back in Squirtle wants these low percent strings, but Larry's playing patiently around it. No, there you go. Goes for Nair. Interesting. I thought we go for down air. Yeah, lots of buttons in press, but Sweet T makes the most out of it. Gets lots of damage for it. Still sticking with the Squirtle, actually. I'm waiting for it to switch in, like, maybe, like, two more seconds or something like that. Oh, using the withdraw to go through the forward air. Nice. Yeah, he's really sticking with the Squirtle. I I'm, I, sometimes I'm very surprised about Jacob's, like, decisions on when he actually switches. Yeah. It's, uh, I feel like it's uh, less flowchart than uh, Pandarian's is. I think Ned also is a Pokemon trainer man that likes to use Squirtle primarily as well. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Razor Leaf set up here. Trying to cover where Larry wants to get off the ledge with. No, not getting that pivot right out in time. Still really close position. Nice. Grabs him before Larry can grab him, and that's going to be some bad DI on that back throw. Yeah. I guess he wasn't quite expecting it. It was really quick. Mm -hmm. I literally feel like we're just hearing like video game sound effects, and that's it. I don't, I, I don't I, yeah, hear the music. I, there's no music on this stage. It's just like the, uh, the, all you have is the sound effects from the match. Yeah, because well, I, because in, on the real hand and bow stage, when you pick electroplankton, it's like it the yeah, plankton it, yeah, hit the yeah, leaves yeah, or it's, whatever. It's supposed to be hitting the leaves for like added like music, I guess. But uh -huh. since there's nothing on this stage, it's just them fighting. Yeah, so it's very interesting, very, very ambiance. But here we go. Looks like Sweet Tea we're gonna get some extra damage there. Trying to fill up all the sound effects with these hits. Oh, oh but the down smash comes in. The tech chase yeah, read. Larry the, coming in clutch there. The classic setup. Miss a tech on neutral <laughs> there. You got to eat the free down smash if you're not ready for it. Yeah. And you know, they keep nerfing that down smash, but uh, it's still good to me, man. Still killing. So yeah. That light squirt like sub 80%. Mm -hmm. Larry getting 3-0, moving on the lose side, top eight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Raito kind of displaying the... Yeah, he's... <laughs>